How you doing, my friend? Doing very well. Excellent morning. It yes. was a big win last night. That, that was Huge a significant win. win. Does that put us... I haven't done the math. Does that give us a shot at first in the Pacific? We're, that's still a possibility, right? Yeah, it's still a possibility. So the Oilers have four games left now. They play Anaheim tonight, San Jose Saturday, Colorado Tuesday, then Sat- uh, San Jose again next Thursday. Mm-hmm. So the Oilers basically have to win out their last four games, which is entirely doable based on who they're playing. Like Colorado is obviously going to be tough, but yeah. they can absolutely win out. And then they also need a little bit of luck from Vegas because Vegas did get another point last night. So as of this morning, the Oilers are sitting in second place, three points back of Vegas. It's doable, but they need a little bit of help. Yeah, so also, three, three of those games should be very winnable. Also, yeah. um, Sharks twice in the Ducks. Kings and Vegas play th- that that they're, they play next. That's right. So that's a huge one. So all we can really hope for is A, a regulation win by one of those teams, or B, the arena gets hit by a meteor. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we got about a week left of this regular season. (laughs) Call them A or call them B. (laughs) Those are the only options. Uh, First off, how's Frank doing? Frank's rules. He, uh, yeah. yeah, he had to uh, get a little something on his foot, but a test came back his way. So now he's just, uh, yeah, he's good. He's just got a scabby mess on his foot that he has to heal with. So, so he'll be doing the okay. the picks before each game? Yeah. Well, he's a degenerate gambler, has been for the last four and a half years. So he's got to get his fix in, you know? All right. He's not letting that up. Tell Frank I bet on him all the time. <laughs> that is a, well, he won again last night. So he's yeah. on a little bit of a roll ro- yeah. right now. So it's not the worst play. I there want... are people that do that oddly. Yeah. Um, don't do I that. do it. He's a dog. I, <laughs> he is I, a dog. I bet on the damn dog. <laughs> See, it's better than me. <laughs> Can you get him to do under or over, please? Yeah. Who's going to score? Well, I can try. <laughs> yeah, I could absolutely try. Just uh, I don't know how much of the weeds he needs to get. He's yeah. already got, a, like I said, a terrible problem. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so, funny. yeah, we can do that. Do you have any playoff traditions? You're going to be dusting off an old jersey or cutting in a mullet or anything? Yeah, yeah. I started drinking at 7.30 this morning. Uh, <laughs> trying to get myself prepped, make sure that the body is in tune for what's about to come. Yeah, we were uh, with Clinchmas happening last Saturday. It's just kind of like started putting the plans in motion of like, okay, we got to do pl- playoff parties again. We don't know where they're going to be, but we're going to have playoff parties again. And just the abuse that we're going to put all our bodies through yeah. for the next two months. So it's gonna get be training, fun. people. Stay hydrated. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't have the long hair to color this year. Like last year, he did orange and, and blue, but yeah. We do your ass hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ducks tonight should be a win, should be a high scoring game as well. Because the last time they played the Ducks, it was just freewheeling. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, again, we're talking about is the Pacific still in sight and it is but these are the games you have to win so yes yeah. huge win last night against la that was the team that they were chasing and l- like le- leapt over in the standings but you got to do the same thing against Anaheim because like you said lock they're not a very good team they're in the mix for bedard they've lost eight in a row they are one nine and oh in their last 10 they are terrible so yeah the others got to go into Anaheim and handle their business I, I don't really care what the score is i'd love to bet the over life's too short to bet the under but no matter how they want pick some up money on the under last night. Night. We just need a point for Nuge, too. Yeah, we need Nuge. Oh. Nuge needs one more, eh? One more, right? Yeah. He's at 99, and I'm going to have a freak out celebration. I've made a hair statue of him in my yard. <laughs> it is ready to be displayed. <laughs> ready to go. Uh, McDavid's been a little bit, I mean, it's it's stupid to say it because he's, he's still racking up the points, but he's been a bit snake bitten on the goal scoring thing since 60. Yeah, it is. He did get one the other day against Anaheim. It was a nice yeah. little round the world goal. But yeah, you're right. He slowed down on his goal scoring a little bit. It was almost like getting to 60 was that's what I want to do. And then after that, it's just it doesn't matter. But even it's funny, like you say, it was a little bit quieter, but it's still another casual multi point night last yeah. night. He's now at 148 on the season, Good just Lord. blowing everybody out of the water. S- so. Still embarrassed for yeah. Doughty. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, a couple of times. A couple so, of times. Yeah, a lot of hard times. He was face down on the ground for that one of them. So yeah. That would have been a highlight of the year goal had Hyman been able to tuck that one in. But yeah, Connor's interesting because now he's gotten back to dishing more than shooting. But I don't I don't really care as long as he keeps racking him up. 150 is right there. I don't think many people expected him to hit 150 this year. So let's get it, Connor. You got four games left. That one run he made, um, 
I, I just watched the highlights. I, I I crashed early last night, but that yeah. one run where he went through the whole team, yeah, and it went yeah. right down the middle. Like tick, 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 that tick, was tick. the one where Hyman just missed Barron. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was a beautiful play, unbelievable. Um, keep us posted, bagged on on any of your Oilers Nation gatherings, just so that we can make our plans for for playoffs here, the locker room. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, we're definitely, definitely, definitely having parties. We just we're figuring out the locations, the logistics right now. But yeah. in the meantime, go get your nation playoff gear, nationgear.ca. The oil up tees are up. We're getting oily for the nice. playoffs. There we go. There he goes. And uh, thank you for your time, Bag Milk Oilers Nation. Thank you as always. The locker room for Arden Roof Systems weekday mornings on ninety five seven Cruise FM.